It would be the beginning of the end for the Occupy Winnipeg movement. The province has put the group under a microscope after an early morning fire destroyed a tent. Officials have given Occupy members a warning. Comply with safety rules or action will be taken. CTV's Jeff Keel has more. His tent is gone and all of his belongings he brought with him. But Jeffrey Kohut says he isn't worried about his possessions. It, that's not as uh, sad to me as what this might cause like negatively for the Occupy movement. I hope that I haven't contributed to that. A fire destroyed the tent around 5.30 Friday morning, causing $500 worth of damage. Threw all my ski pants, ran over here and saw a 10-foot fire that was erupting from my friend Je Jeffrey's tent. Luckily, Kohut wasn't staying in it at the time and no one was hurt. But the damage for Kohut and the movement could be done. The province has put the group on notice. It says it is extremely concerned following the tent fire and it is now prepared to shut the camp down if vacant tents like the one that burned down are not removed. I'm really concerned about how this is going to affect the, the movement. Members have put these notices on vacant tents, warning owners they will be taken down by Saturday if they remain unoccupied. We're restructuring and uh, we're getting more organized so that we're more safe. Police and fire officials say they don't yet know if the fire was deliberate or accidental. Members here say they believe someone not connected to the movement lit the tent on fire. Either way, many Winnipeggers say it's time to shut them down. Right there, I guess that's the first hint, yeah, absolutely. Well, on safety terms, I would think so, yes. It's getting dangerous. I mean, winter's coming. They're going to start maybe making little fires or something, and that can get out of control. That's not discouraging some here who say they're confident they will be allowed to stay. I really don't think this is going to deter us or stop us from doing what we're going to do. They say no matter how many tents remain. Jeff Keel, CTV News, Winnipeg. Occupy Winnipeg members say they have a list of 20 full and part-time people who are signed up to stay in the camp.